Hello Aries, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today is uh, Friday, April the 24th, 2020, and I'll be doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week of April. So that would be roughly um, from the 27th to May 3rd. And I'll be using the Steampunk Tarot for your reading. Hope you're all doing well at this time. Keeping yourselves busy so you don't go <laughs> stir crazy. So um, let's see what the cards uh, want you to know for the last week of uh, April, heading into May already. Okay. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Here we go. Your first card is the Five of Cups. Second card is the King of Swords. Third card is the Nine of Wands. Fourth card is the Queen of Cups. And the bottom card is the Knight of Wands. I'm just going to have a look at your cards here. No major arcanas for you. So I feel like um, somebody wants to uh, follow their passion. They're very passionate about something, and um, but there seems to be a bit of uh, cautiousness. Someone is regretting. I feel like maybe someone is regretting not following their passions in the past. Perhaps um, one of you was um, too focused on, uh, on uh, your work or just overthinking things. Um, trying to understand too much, too much in your head. Um, like I say, it can flip-flop uh, the energy. So um, it seems like someone was trying to learn a lot, perhaps about this uh, connection, but... Um, maybe they, uh, they got so wrapped up in their, their thoughts. Maybe they, uh, this person was doing a lot of studying, a lot of researching about whatever, and, um, they may have lost an opportunity for this connection. Um, and it could be because, uh, Part of them uh, was part of them was afraid of being disappointed. Um, they didn't want to be let down, so they wanted to understand and analyze something uh, so that if they did make a move, they, there'd be no chance of losing uh, um, of things falling apart. But um, I get the feeling that maybe somebody waited too long or maybe the, the cards are saying, they're warning you about this. That if you take too long to uh, overanalyze something and, and uh, understand it uh, too much, that uh, you may lose a chance for this connection. We have a couple here. We have... 
We have a king of swords and a queen of cups. So these are two people that have different types of energy. The one that I was describing is this ten of uh, is this uh, king of cups. See, he's in his studies. He's got a book in his hands and he's taking notes. This is somebody that doesn't like to make a move until they understand something inside out. Whereas this uh, Queen of Cups here, she um, she's more about the heart. She's more intuitive. She trusts her uh, her instincts, her feelings, her gut feelings, and that's how she um, makes decisions. How that's how she lives her life. So I feel like um, someone needs to go with their, uh, their passion more, their, uh, their uh, intuitive feelings more. Because this nine of wands here, he looks like he's been through some kind of, uh, some kind of battle. And he's on the lookout. He's looking out for more trouble. So I always say, what you seek, you'll find, you know. If maybe somebody's trying to look for um, uh, the problem spots, how things might go wrong in the connection. So, of course, if you're focused there, then that's what you're going to see. You're not going to see all the good stuff, uh, so the five of cups talks about regret this man is by himself at the bar and he he's very regretful but there's two cups here being served on the tray but he's not looking up to see it so i feel like if uh, this is the situation that not all hope is lost there's time so i feel like it's more a message of a warning you know don't lose this opportunity for this connection it's there so get out of your head and um, take make that move you know the knight of wands he follows his passions and he goes for it he's led by his passion but I feel like it's more than that I feel there's uh, some kind of emotional connection too So as I said, this could be you, this could be your energy, or it could be somebody else. Um, Aries tend to be more like the Knight of Wands, you know. You go after your passions. So maybe uh, there's somebody that you feel a connection with, and that's what they're doing. And you may grow impatient. So just, if that makes more sense to you, then... Just know that there's something there, but they're stuck in their head. So, um, you know, maybe give them a little slack or try to encourage them to open up or something. Um, so those are the types of energies that I'm getting for you uh, during the last week of the month. So uh, let me know if that makes sense. Leave me your comments. Give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you for the following read. Bye for now.